Greetings, it's great to see you here. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all new videos and updates. Thanks for your support. The second week of work at the new company had come to an end. Christina decided to head home for the weekend. Her parents remained quite concerned about her, and she hoped that her presence at home might alleviate their worries a bit. Saturday morning, as she stepped out of her new house, she almost bumped into Ruslan. Wow, he exclaimed, seemingly excited. What a coincidence. Hi, Christina responded with a slightly tense smile. She had been actively avoiding Ruslan at work. His overbearing attitude and excessive self-assuredness made her uneasy. Although she appreciated confidence in men, Ruslan's demeanor bordered on intimidation. What are you doing here? He inquired. Do you live in this house? Yes, she replied, nodding. I do, and you. Do you live around here too? No, but my parents live over there. He pointed to the neighboring house. I came to visit them, and I'm heading to pick up some groceries and visit the pharmacy. Listen, I'll be free in a couple of hours. Maybe we could go for a walk. I'm sorry, but I can't, Christina responded. I have other plans. I'm actually heading home. And to be honest, I need to get going now, or I'll miss the bus. While on the bus, Christina's mind was occupied with thoughts about her two suitors. At a glance, they appeared somewhat similar, yet distinctly different. Both exhibited cockiness and even arrogance. But when it came down to choosing between them, she would lean towards Ruslan. His world domination demeanor, while somewhat tolerable, didn't pull the candle to Zacher's maliciousness. The prospect of enduring Zacher's mean-spiritedness was unappealing. What if she ever did something he disapproved of? Would he resort to spreading rumors about her too? Back at home, her mother kept a watchful eye on Christina. She had asked her countless times what meal to prepare and incessantly inquired about her new job. Mom, Christina sighed, lowering her head. I'm here. I'm fine. I'm working, managing to cook for myself. I've made new friends. Yes, I'm in a big city, but I've rented an apartment near the office. The neighborhood is nice, and it's conveniently located. Mom, I can see you're struggling to contain your concerns. Honestly, I don't see what's so concerning. I just don't understand what's beneficial about it. All your friends are here, thinking about settling down or already starting families, and you're still chasing some kind of elusive dream. Not all my friends are here, Christina countered. Even Marishka went to Moscow. That's not exactly what I mean, her mother continued. The issue runs deeper. You should consider settling down, my dear daughter. Christina let out a weary sigh. Mom, I enjoy my job. I take pride in being a skilled professional. There's nothing wrong with focusing on my career. Times have changed, and a woman's worth isn't solely defined by her marital status. I'm content. Please try to share in my happiness a little. How often do you talk to Bella? Elizaveta Petrovna responded, sidestepping the question. It's been a while, why? Call her, her mother instructed. She has some important news. Christina was eager to bring the conversation to a close. Would you like me to call her right now? She asked. Go ahead, her mother agreed. Relieved, Christina left the room and dialed Ella's number. She loved her mother deeply, but their understanding had been somewhat strained in recent years. She was certain that her friend was also going to initiate a similar conversation, but at least she could avoid the lecture. I wasn't expecting your call, Ella remarked as soon as she picked up. Ella, please, Christina implored, I've already apologized. I should have discussed my move with you, but circumstances played out differently. I'm back home. So soon, Ella sounded surprised. Didn't the allure of the glamorous city life captivate you? Christina responded with determination. 
I came because I wanted to visit my parents. Ella, you can choose to sulk, or we can hang out and have a good time. It's up to you. Uh-huh, Ella mumbled. Now that you're available, I'm expected to drop everything and come running, right? Or perhaps I have my own commitments. Christina struggled to suppress her frustration. If you're busy, then we don't have to meet, she stated. I'll catch up with you next time I'm here. Unless, of course, you've got something on your plate, she added with a touch of sarcasm. No, Ella conceded. I need to talk to you. So let's meet up today. Christina rolled her eyes. What was the purpose of this unnecessary drama? Ella was eventually agreeing to meet anyway. Ella observed Christina closely. You haven't changed much, she remarked. What were you expecting? That I'd grow an extra arm? Or another pair of ears? Ella, it's only been two weeks since I moved. And you know, I can understand my mom's apprehension to some extent. She grew up in a different era. But you, you're young. What is it about big cities that terrifies you so much? There's solace, Ella responded. It's all about money. There's no genuine emotion, no sincere human connections. And it pains me that my best friend wants to be part of that. Christina let out a sigh. All right, she acquiesced. Let's not delve into that. You mentioned having some news. Care to share? Yes, I'll tell you everything. I want you back, Ella declared. Dennis proposed to me. A genuine smile spread across Christina's face. She knew how long Ella had been waiting for this proposal, how she had dreamed of getting married. And now, finally, she had gotten her whip. Congratulations, I can imagine how thrilled you must be, Christina said. I've dreamt about this for so long. I've imagined every little detail. Anyway, you need to come back. Back, Christina was puzzled. But, Ella, of course I'll be there for your wedding. I'll help you with all the preparations. First things first, you can stay with me for a few dates. We'll pick out the most stunning dress for you. Find the perfect shoes, whatever you need. And every weekend, whenever you need me, I'll be right by your side. We'll plan everything together. Have you chosen a date? Picked a venue? Maybe the Palace of Culture. It has a beautiful hall. By the way, we can get ribbons and balloons in town. We'll search for unique and lovely decorations online and see if we can recreate them. Christina, you are not getting it. I want you to come back for good. Ella, I love you so much. But why should I disrupt my life? Give up an opportunity I've been waiting for as well. Christina, if this was a real opportunity, I'd be the first to cheer you on. I'd genuinely be happy for you. Christina let out a weary sigh. This wasn't anything new. She was accustomed to her friends reacting in this manner. Ella, what constitutes a real opportunity? If I told you I was moving to the city to get married, would you support me then? Does it a job, even a really good one, count as an opportunity? Chris, I've got nothing against women who pursue careers. But you're forgetting about us. You're solely focused on your job. Christina shook her head, realizing that this conversation needed to come to a halt before tensions escalated. She was fortunate that the ringing phone provided an escape route. She quickly answered the call without even glancing at the caller ID. At this point, she was prepared to listen to any bank manager's tale if it meant avoiding further discussion with Ella. To her surprise, it was Eugene on the other end. Christina, I apologize, but it seems our team has to come in for work today on short notice. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but Sergei has made a personal request. Oh, goodness, Christina exclaimed with a hint of anxiety. Have we done something wrong? Jenya, I can't come in. I mean, I've gone home. It's a journey of more than two hours by bus. I could attempt to find a car, but... 
The meeting is scheduled for tonight, Eugene explained. Sir Jai wants to discuss something with us. I don't think there's any cause for alarm. Most likely, we have a new project, and a demanding client wants us to commence work immediately. It's not unusual. Give me about 15 or 20 minutes, and I'll call you back with more details. All right, Christina agreed, her mind already racing to adjust to this new situation. Work? Ella's voice was laced with thinly veiled displeasure. You've barely been there for two weeks, and they're already calling you in on weekends. That's a fine place you've landed. And what about your promise to help me with the wedding preparations? Christina took a moment to gather herself before responding. Ella, Christina pleaded, looking at her friend with earnestness. Please try to understand my perspective. I truly want to help you with the wedding preparations, but I also need to prioritize my own path. Returning to the city just because of your wishes isn't the right decision for me. I'm determined to keep working and chasing my aspirations. I value our friendship and am always available for you, but I can't keep making apologies. I'm exhausted from feeling guilty all the time. Can you see where I'm coming from? Ella merely shrugged, seemingly unmoved by Christina's words. Eventually, you'll find yourself alone. She stated, no job, no friends. Then you'll come to realize I was right. Christina's phone rang again. Keeping her gaze on Ella, she answered the call. Christina, where should I go? Eugene's voice came through the phone. Zakar is also out of town. He'll pick you up and you two can come together. Okay, Christina replied. I'll text you the address so you can share it with Zakar. After ending the call, Christina continued to regard her friend. I'm heading back home, she announced, to pack. Perhaps you have a point. Maybe one day I'll be alone. But that'll be a choice I've made. I'll catch up with you later. Attention, dear viewers. The continuation of our story is near. To keep up to date, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you don't miss the next exciting episode. Thank you so much for your interest and support.